Well, here we are down at Wally World parking lot. Some condos up there. There's the mountain. There's Wally World. All these places under restrictions due to the pandemic. Everybody got to stay six feet apart. What I'd like to know is our local skydiving airport. is all the skydivers they aboard that plane now how do you keep social distance on an airplane i know they jump off but still in all you're in there on the airplane smelling each other's breath smelling each other's farts yep there's the ortega mountain Now this old coronavirus, this rig election, I wouldn't surprise me, the Democrats and China, all in on it together because they hate Trump so bad that they'll do anything. Let me tell you something. The government feels they can do anything they want with people. So maybe they made this virus just to kill some of us. Can't trust the government, man. It's all about their wallet, how, how fat, much money they'll get. <clears throat> Everyone's saying Trump's ripping them off, things like that for his money. Well, you know what? He's not getting any paycheck. He's keeping his word. He said he'll work for free. They may give him a paycheck. What he does with that paycheck, he donates it to charity. Yeah, right up there. I don't know if you can see it. There's an airplane. Commercial airliner, looks like, maybe. There's another one. They are to the blame the cause of our coronavirus and the cruise ships I mean <clears throat> anyone ever remember watching like TV shows and things where all of a sudden they found out someone was sick and they quarantined everybody you mean the government don't have any common sense as far as uh, not telling people they can end up going to another country, they can end up getting a virus. I'm sorry. The United States government did its own people wrong. They should have been printing on those cruise ship tickets and airline tickets of risk of catching an incurable disease. You know? And why would anyone want to vote for a guy who says he's going to raise taxes? Uh, maybe some poor people don't like rich people and stuff like that. But, you know, like example, if you raise the taxes on a Walmart, well, guess what? That comes back at you. What they're going to do is up their prices, okay? In other words, say you buy a pair of shoes for... $20, well that pair of shoes now may cost you $30. Same thing with clothing. It all goes up and it all falls back on the buyer. So the retailer of selling these products in the store don't feel the taxes because it goes on to the customer who's buying the product. Yep. Obama rigged election. I'm sorry.
dead people voting. If they can show paperwork, they should need to uh, show it right in front of uh, Biden's face. So sorry, bud, you and Harris are not going to run this country. I mean, Harris admitted uh, smoking marijuana, and that's a bad example for your children. Because they'll grow up thinking, well, if our president of the United States or vice president of the United States done this, it's okay for us. Well, here goes the skydiving plane right up there. Yeah, so the airport's running. Look at all these cars. Yeah, they have American names on them. No, I'm sorry. That old Dodge truck supposed to be an American uh, truck. That's about as much as American made as that Volkswagen right there. Nope. I'm sorry. They are assembled. They are made in other countries. Just got the American name. They're not true American made cars anymore. Because people made up lies. Only talked about theories. Global warming. Environmental. You know climate change well if you don't like climate change you live in the city don't go to the mountains in the winter time where the climate's different okay these guys are trying to blow sunshine right up your ass and these suckers are believing it you know the environmental field is probably the biggest crooked industry there is okay uh, I think it's Al Gore, solar panel and all that. Not one solar panel on this house. All these people were putting solar panels like on that house way up there on top of that hill. Okay, some are for water. You get hot water that way. Those are good. Okay, now the one for the electric company Well, I didn't know, I just recently found out. When they say they're going to turn off the power in the neighborhood, even those homes that are on solar power, they get turned off because they're tied to the system. Okay? Because they can supply voltage to the power lines. So they, they disconnect that remotely through your smart meter. All right? Don't be uh, converting your house to solar power, okay, because when the electric goes out, you're still without electric. You're better off you're going to do solar is that you, when you build your house from scratch, you have a whole system wiring, different uh, separated wiring system. One for the electric company and another system. In other words, you have two light bulbs in your ceiling. One's for uh, the Edison company, the other one's off your solar panel setup. Okay. This way they're not tied together. That's the only way you're still going to have electricity in your house. Alright. You know, every house, they don't do it. I've seen it done. A guy had a little garage little workshop that he made and showed me look I finally made myself a 12 volt room so that way he can hang out there and do his little hobby there and it's only running off batteries so Yeah, if you're gonna best probably stay off grid unless they can guarantee in writing when they shut off the power to all your neighbors around you in the city and all that that you're still gonna have electricity from your solar power system. 
They've been shutting those off. That's what I recently found out. Okay, the reason I know this, I have a friend with a tightwad. He doesn't like spending money. Okay. So, you want to find out some things, that's these tightwads out there. And, uh, they know some of these things. Oh yeah, here's the, here's the newest ripoff scam. Here's the ripoff scam we've all been seeing for years. Right there. There's a cell phone uh, tower disguised as a palm tree. Okay. They still haven't proved cell phones don't cause brain cancer and brain cameras. So, because they don't know how long or a length of time that it takes to uh, develop that. You know, in our ham radio test, we have to study a little bit on our license, and it, it talks about a walkie-talkie and, you know, the handheld radios we use is what, what part of your body it can have an effect on, on you is. And the answer was that it would have an effect on your eyes because the antenna is in your face. Okay? That's why a lot of the old flip phones, you put it up to your ear, the antenna kind of pointed away from your head. Okay? And you're afraid of RF exposure, maybe causing brain cancer, brain tumors. Now I see these police officers, you might have seen it, they got that earpiece in their ear, it goes to the radio, now I used to play with CB radio and stuff like that, and ham radio, and on the old CB, if you turn the microphone gain control, it would squeal. I put... A fill strength meter along the core of that microphone. Okay, the RF got into that microphone cord. Huh, is that earpiece the police officers are wearing? Okay, you see it's in their ear. Is that acting as an antenna when they transmit? It's transmitting into their ear. Have they done an RF safety evaluation on that? For the health of the officers, uh, any of you officers listening to this, and you may have been diagnosed with brain cancer, brain tumor, or something wrong with your ear. It might be uh, because of that earpiece you've been wearing. Sure, you guys put your life on on the line for people, but. There's people out there, man, they ain't worth putting your life on the line for. The old dirt bags out there. And, you know, you guys seen some pretty well dirt bags out there. And I'll, you should know what I'm talking about. They ain't worth it, man. So, there you go. Yeah. You really don't want no cell towers by your house because you don't know what it's really going to do. Higher the frequency, more damage it can cause. That old cell tower should have been on the other, on top of that mountain away from everybody. But they probably put it there because so they don't inter interfere with other cell towers or something right there. You know, a friend of mine took his car to this Walmart here, and he had an oil change. He went inside the store to buy some things and came back out. 
and he noticed there were items missing that was inside his car. They stole his stuff. Yeah. And they all play dumb. I don't know. I don't know. What will happen to it? Those might be fire planes out there we see. See, there's some brush fires not far from us. The smoke is rolling into our neighborhood. And we shouldn't have to put up with this. Oh, that looks bad. Can't have it. It looks like it's an eyesore. So they got the skies that look like a palm tree or a pine tree. I'm sorry. Quit your whining and sniveling. It's their property. If they want to put it up on their property, they should be able to. That's too bad. The neighbors in this neighborhood around here, like those houses over there, this place, this business was here before those houses was. They moved to this business's uh, area, okay? That's too bad if they don't like it. Okay, it's like a farmer. Okay, he moves out in the neighborhood, opens his dairy farm. Next thing you know, a bunch of houses like these, they pop up all around him. And they start complaining about the smell. Well, you moved in on them. I'm sorry. They were there first. And down over there on the lake bottom, they built some new houses. You know, they brought in field dirt. But are uh, those homes are going to have problems down there because... The ground settling and stuff. Some of those homes might be sitting on a sinkhole out there. I walked down along the lake before and had the ground cave in out underneath me. Okay, because the water table comes in so far many feet from the shore. Okay, of the water. So... Yeah, yeah, they make a plane about the noise and stuff from uh, Walmart customers. Well, Walmart was here before they was, so they moved in on them. Now you tell your neighbors, I was here first. My home was built here first. Now you build your home. Don't complain about my place. If, if there's things you don't like about it. You moved in on me. I not moved in on you. And anyways, why would anyone want a palm tree? They are the messiest trees there is. More upkeep than any other tree out there. And like these little trees here in the parking lots. It would have been nicer if they would have put like a, a mulberry tree. Where it grows 30 feet wide. To provide more shade over people's cars. Okay. Now people with motorhomes and campers. They could park out a ways where there is no trees. But there's some people they like to grab. The parking spot with the shade. I hope I'm not moving my phone around too fast. This is not a GoPro. This is a cell phone I'm doing the video with. Now GoPros cost a lot of money. But, oh yeah, look at there. See that? That's a, see that trail behind that airplane? You see how short that is? Now you look at a, a, a chem trail. It goes on for miles. It may go, go over a hundred miles. You see that same train uh, trail. 
makes you wonder what are they spraying out of the plane. Ah, are they, sp are they uh, spraying viruses onto people to kill off population? I once saw a report where they claim they can fly above cities and we'll release these little aluminum fibers and it'll cool the city down. All right. So, you're talking about these people have Alzheimer's, you know, they come down with Alzheimer's, and one of the report is they say, oh, maybe from drinking out of aluminum cans, they think aluminum causes Alzheimer's, okay, so, if they're dropping these little fibers of aluminum into the air, Cool, reflect the sunlight and the heat, uh, make the cool the planet down. There you go, it's an environmental health issue. Health issue if aluminum causes Alzheimer's and makes people able to hide their own Easter eggs. That's the problem with our country. They elected a man for president, might be old Biden. So many people think he has Alzheimer's. He'd legally be able to hide his own Easter eggs. Yep. That's a weird looking airplane. Don't buy the... When they, said, when they start talking about global warming and stuff, don't fall for all that because... Okay. They're doing that just to get more tax dollars out of businesses and things. You know, yeah, you don't need people out there dumping gasoline on the ground and stuff like that. So, sure, you don't need to dump old, old motor oil, dump it off the sides of the roads and containers, stuff like that. Now, that's the kind of things. It's bad for the environment, but as uh, far as car paints, exhaust fumes from cars, is causing an effect on the ozone, global warming. When these airplanes, the big commercial airlines, they 